Hey Sanford fans, welcome into this year's 2021-22 Sanford men's basketball season preview presented by Coca-Cola. I'm John McAfoos, happy as always to be joined by Bucky McMillan, Sanford men's basketball head coach. Bucky, appreciate you being here. Looking forward to getting started next week. Looking forward to it as well. Well, this is year two now for you with the program, but I would imagine it kind of still feels like year one with all the challenges you guys went through last year. The fact that you couldn't even get into your office the first few months after you were hired. When you look back, does, does last year kind of look more like a year zero and this feels like more of a true year one for you? Yeah, well, it just feels life's a lot more back to normal. You know, it just feels good to be able to practice and, you know, you see momentum building. You know, that's, that's fun. You know, not, hey, two practices, oh, then they're off for two weeks. Or, hey, these four guys are hurt, these guys are hurt. And we've dealt with injury here recently, but um, before that, we put together a good string of some practices, which is good. For you, uh, when you look back on your first year, what are some of your takeaways from your first year as a Division One collegiate head coach? Well, I, I think you had to ask me more after this year. The circumstances of COVID were so atypical for everybody. So I think it's, it's kind of, it, it's, a, it's a strange deal, but what I would, will say is my experience here at Sanford has been phenomenal. You know, I just, I love the people here and, um, you know, I think we're gonna do great things here. So I'll tell you this much, myself, our assistant coaches, we love coming to work here every day. And our players, they've done a great job here since they've got here in June of coming here and going to work in their own right. Let's talk about some of those players. It's a big roster, a deep roster, 20 players on the roster, a lot of newcomers that Sanford fans are going to want to get to know. Let's start with some of those newcomers, specifically some of the guys you brought in from the transfer portal, guys like Cooper Kafis, who came from Loyola, Chicago, was all freshmen in the Missouri Valley Conference a couple of years ago. Jermaine Marshall, a forward that's coming from Akron, a Hueytown native, so he's familiar with the area. Uh, spent some time with one of the best JUCO programs in the country at Florida Southwestern State, as did another guard, Jaden Campbell, who's coming to this program. And then you got Quez Glover, who's coming from the Florida Gators. Anytime you bring in a, a kid with Power 5 experience, it's going to raise some eyebrows. And, and Quez played 51 games over the past two seasons with the Gators. So I'm guessing that's a, a group of you know four or five guys from the transfer portal that you expect to come in and see some significant playing time early on. Yeah, no doubt. You know, this is a year where players got a year back, and rightfully so, because of, of the corona circumstances so these guys who transferred you know all of them are sophomores for us are below you know so the great part is is that we got a great foundation to build with Cooper Cape as you mentioned him first he's just an awesome player smart player comes from a winning program uh, played deep in the NCAA tournament before I've known Jermaine Marshall since he was 15 years old you know when the hardest playing player I may have ever seen play basketball. Like, well, literally, the first time I watched him play, I remember going up to him, he's my favorite player I've ever seen play. And, uh, like, people say, yeah, I see you, he must play hard. No, like, when you see it, you understand, like, okay, there's, there's another level of playing hard. I see that now. Quez Glover, uh, offensively at times, you, you watch him play, and, you know, I, I'd pay to watch him play offense sometimes. And now I'm on him about his defense. He's going to be in there to play that offense. He's going to have to keep getting better and better and better on defense. But he's been very coachable and wants to improve on that aspect. When he does that, man, he's going to have a really dang good player. Jaden Campbell, he's been great, too. He's got played with Jermaine Marshall at Florida Southwestern. They were the number one team in the country at one point. So they've seen what winning looks like. So these guys are guys I'm familiar with, and, and it's good to have guys you're familiar with in the program. When you look at the newcomers, you've also got at least one impact freshman as well, and Wesley Cardett Jr. was a 60th ranked player coming out uh, in the nation coming out of high school, multiple Power Five offers, four-star guard from West Oaks Academy. What have you seen out of him, and, and what can Bulldog fans reasonably expect from him out of the gates? Well, you know, I, I don't like putting too much pressure on any freshman. I would say that to all Bulldog fans because when you're coming into it this year, with all seniors getting years back, you know, there's a, there's a big age gap. So I hate putting pressure on freshmen, you know, and then he doesn't need to play with pressure. He's a great player, phenomenal player, deserving of all the accolades he's had. He's going to have a big impact on our team. What I would say his best quality is, is his humility and coachability. A lot of times these days when you see guys who are highly touted, you know, uh, they, they also have a, a, an ego that, that can come with that. He doesn't have any of that, you know, and that comes from, you know, honestly, great parenting. You know, he, he understands that hard work equals success, and he's one of our very hardest workers, and he's very coachable. So um, I think not only you'll see him do great things here at Sanford, but you're going to see this guy really flourish as he goes through decades and the decades to come when he graduates from here. 
Well, let's talk about the group of returners as well. You've got a core group of returners. You've got some guys with a lot of experience, guys like Logan Dye, who's been in this program longer than anyone. You've got Richardson Matre and, and Jacob Tryon, who came in last year as transfers that have some experience. You've got the guys that got thrown in as true freshmen last year that got a lot of valuable minutes, and A.J. State and McRae and Jaron Rilly and Marcellus Vale. That group, talk about what they bring to this program on the court, but also probably from a leadership perspective now off the court. 100%. You know, I think we'll look back at last year and say, man, we put in more work last year you no, know, didn't show up in the win-loss column and so many games canceled in building what we want our program to be about. And so those returners who came back, they set the example for the new guys coming in. And, um, you know, it's going to be a culture of hard work and guys who are unselfish, you know, and, and they've all done that. You know, all those players, I think, could provide great minutes. We had some unfortunate circumstances here with Logan Dye. He, he, he'll be out for about six weeks with a broken bone in his hand. A.J. Staten right now is out indefinitely with a knee injury, but he'd worked really hard to get back, so be a little short-handed. Say Rod's going to fight really hard. Those are our, two of our leading returning scorers and leading rebounders, but the other guys are going to have to step it up, and they have in practice. Um, you know, we, you mentioned Jacob Tryon. He's got a lot stronger in the offseason. Marcellus Vell has been great. Um, Jaron really, you know, Jaron, you know, he got thrown to the fire last year, and he's gotten improved tremendously since last season. And one guy we didn't even mention was Quinn Ritchie. He's had a great fall. So um, I, I think we got a good nucleus of guys, uh, young guys, that you know, will make some young mistakes, but uh, they're going to have some great moments as well. Want to quickly hit on the coaching staff, a couple of changes there. Nev Xantis is promoted to a full-time assistant. Gerald Gillian leaves to take a head coaching job with Chicago State. Zach Gillian comes in, and then you also bring in another guy with some head coaching experience in Mitch Cole. He's been at Berry College the past three years as a head coach. He's here now as your associate head coach. I really like our staff. We got guys that, I, that I'm familiar with and I know, you know, and that's, that's great. You know, you mentioned Mitch Cole. I've known Coach Cole since I was 10 years old. You know, we kind of come from the same background and our philosophies are very similar. So, you know, that's always good when you have like-minded guys that, that see the game the same way, see uh, players the same way. Um, so that's been great having him back here. Nev Xantis has been such a hard worker, uh, great person to be representing Sanford. You know, great recruiter, relentless, loves it, but very solid person, and, and the players really love him. Zach Gillian, Mr. Energy. I hope Gerald Gillian's watching this. Gerald thought he brought energy. Zach brings it to another level now. So um, I love having Zach here. Um, so we got a great staff, and, um, you know, I, I think it's a staff that, that not only are they a good staff, but they want to build it right here, you know, right here at Sanford. If you're talking to the, the Sanford student body and the faculty and, and the Birmingham community at large, what's your message to them as to why they should come out and support the Sanford basketball team? Yeah. Well, w what I say is this. I don't ever guarantee, hey, we're winning the conference here or we're, we're going to win 20 games or we're going to do this. And, I, and I'm not saying we're not. I can promise you here in time we'll, we'll do all of those things. But, you know, what I can tell you for those that are associated with Sanford are going to be really proud watching this team play and represent this university. Okay, you, you got guys here that are high character guys, they're going to play really hard and going to play together. So if you come here, you're going to get to see up and down exciting basketball versus great competition. You know, we're playing in that league and in our non-conference, we're playing Ole Miss, we're playing Oregon State, we went to the lead eight last year. Yeah, San got Francisco, Belmont at home. Belmont at home, you know. So we got a great schedule um, and we got a great place to build something and I want the fans and everyone to come here and fight with us. You know, because we're going to need the help. And we're going to need it in the short term, especially when we're a little shorthanded. And I would tell Birmingham and the state of Alabama, you know, I'm so familiar with the basketball world being from here, um, that basketball is really on the rise. You know, state schools are on the rise. You know, there's, there's schools in our city that are on the rise. All these basketball teams, what everyone should be hoping for is that we all can flourish in our league. And how special would that be if you look at these teams and all these Alabama teams eventually get the top of their league? And now, now we're not just a football state, it's a basketball state. And uh, I think the leadership from the schools and I think what we're going to get going here, I think it's going to be really fun to watch happen is when you look up and it's like, hey man, Alabama, look how many teams they, they're getting to the NCAA tournament. That, we never thought that was possible. So it's going to be fun here in time and I want everyone to be on the forefront as we build this thing. Well, Bucky, I always appreciate your time. Looking forward to getting started. No doubt. Thanks for having me. Men's basketball will open the season right here at the Pete Hanna Center Tuesday night, 7 p.m. against Maryville College. That's Bucky McMillan. I'm John McAfoos. That'll do it for the 2021-22 Sanford men's basketball season preview.